fast little car you got here, son. I know. Pay a lot of money for it. Yeah, worth every penny. Yeah, it beats a Hummer. No, it doesn't. Nothing beats a Hummer. <laughs> I've had plenty of Hummers. They're all good. <laughs> anyway, you slice it. Drop time. 1400. Nervous? That's why they make depends. You? Why would I be nervous? She's your girlfriend. Hey, you're doing the right thing, you know? I know. Then you luck. Luck. Did we already pay for all the luck we're ever gonna need in this lifetime? You got that right, bro. Listen, I got your back. Okay? The bullets are coming in on Wednesday. I'm in place on Tuesday. She's not here yet. Should we go to Night Goggle, sir? Hey, relax. All right, all right. I'm sorry, we're closed for dinner. We're supposed to meet somebody here? Well, if it's not Heinz and he's not in a bottle, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this isn't really Heinz. Um, I'm Jeanette. I'm Lenny. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Jeanette. Hi. Um, oh, this is uh, Ryan. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right, follow me. Favor and don't order anything hot. Hot? Who's who's ordering hot? Not no, just cold. You I mean, like cold. cold. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? That's a local girl? Same way Angelina Jolie's a local wherever she comes from. Times do I have to tell you, do not encourage him to play that game. Oh, man, that girl is hot like yellow mustard. I gotta get this away. Don't again. touch me. He's my son and I know him. Oh, man. I gotta get me some of that. Yeah, maybe in your next life, brother. Hey, hey, you might find this hard to believe, but women actually do find me attractive, you know? <laughs> they do. What? They do? I don't believe you. I mean, what? Your lips bleeding. You know, you, you might want to make this mile high thing a uh, double day. We may be the only one get any action around here if Nicole doesn't show up soon. We're closed. You just sat those dudes. We're closed. Well, you were wide open the other night. Fuck you. Better watch it, Joe. It's a full moon tonight. It's shaking. I gotta get the fuck out of here. 
I'm taking that as an indication you want to leave. <laughs> Life's too short. So who are you supposed to meet? And everybody in town. Yeah, I bet you do. Fuck you. Uh, that's uh, not what I meant. I... No, what he meant is you probably had sex with everybody in town. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> you know your lips bleeding? Yeah. Anyway, her name is Nicole Khan. Wait, nicotine? Wait, you're Ryan? Oh, fuck, I gotta call her right now. You know, for her current boyfriend's home? Yeah, there's a new girl has gone wild preparing today. Maybe you could just tell us where she lives then? Yeah, and what time the premiere is. Are you a little map? Are you, uh, survive Gus in the premiere? You can reverse this map and come back here. Why did you and uh, Nicole break up anyway? Ryan enlisted. Wait. <laughs> you guys are in the army? No, we're in the Marines. Army's for faggots. <laughs> wow. We did two tours. We're, we're done now. Well, I don't know about Nicole, but I support our troops. Got a couple of those magnetic stickers on my bumper. Is that your phone number? Water's not free. <laughs> Fucking Tabasco. <laughs> Sorry I snapped. I don't want him playing that game, all right? Things what you fucked up for that shit right now. It's okay. I, I'm sorry. Maybe we can make up later. Nicotine, give me Nicole. Asshole. Nicole? I didn't think you had to work tonight. Listen, I can't talk about this right now. I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really late. Late for what? I'm trying to save this relationship. Do you see what I've done out there? I'm trying to do something for us. I'm sorry, can we talk about this later? No, I really, I'm sorry. I'm so we have... late. How stupid do you think I am? Can't you see how much I love you? Hmm? Why can't you see that? I'm sorry. Go. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Nicole!
I'll teach you to fucking treat somebody like that. Well, who the hell are you guys? You like to hit women, huh? I didn't hit her for Christ's sakes. We're having an argument. Over what? It's none of your goddamn business. What, no? He's up. All right, all right, I'm all right. All right. All right, listen to me, piece of shit. You never lay a hand on her again. You get me? It ain't worth your life. That bitch Jeanette put you guys up to this? I think she's gone. Yeah, man. She wasn't stopping for anything but big food. Philip's gonna take you home and I'll be back to talk to you later, okay? Give mommy a hug. Come on, Chad. Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. Ugh. Need to get home. When I fall through the door. I don't want you to go. I want you to come home. home. Where are you, the babysitter to no, the I'm world? I'm your boss. I own this place. Don't hey. get in the car. Oh, get me. Hey, come on. Hmm? Huh? Tough guy? Okay. You know He's what? with he... the guys in this town. He's harmless. You can just leave him alone, all right? Something to say, bus boy. Philip knows I'm my own person, and what I do is my own business. I'm going to take these guys to Nicole's hideout, and we're going to take Chandler home. Wow. Nicole and I used to come up here in between classes. And do what? What do you think? Get high and feel each other up. That's what I do. <laughs> That's where she is, waiting just for you. Or somebody better. Good luck. I think I was supposed to say that. God, I love sex. Can you say that again? Only uh, with a little more feeling. You know that school kids stash their booze around here. Let me go uh, have a look, see, shall we? Absolutely.
scared me. For a second I thought you were Gus. You're one true love? Don't even say that. I am so ashamed. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so glad you're here. He's not gonna bother you anymore. <laughs> I missed you so much. My heart on just got bigger. <laughs> Do you have any protection? Yeah, in the car. not doing it on the ground. There's a cabin up the road. Don't take forever. Why not? I'm done for the day. I don't think so, Sailor. <laughs> That's Marine. <laughs> not after I'm done with you. I should never have sent you that letter. Which one? The first one, the one that I dumped you with. Mm. I'm so glad you're here, I can't even tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I think you forgot to put the extra two cent stamp on the come home, all is forgiven letter. I think you owe me some money. Just be serious <laughs> for a second. Look, I had no right to judge why you went over there. No, I know you didn't. But do you know why I went? Yeah, I... You know, your roommate dying... It made me think about things for the first time, you know, adult things. Growing up with my family and having everything I wanted just handed to me. I felt like the least thing I could do was just give something back. So you're glad you went? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> fighting for over there, you know? No idea. Except for maybe a six dollar gallon of gasoline. I can't imagine what you've been through. You must have hated me. I love the truth. Yeah. It was the hardest thing I went through over there. It also showed me just how really important some things are in my life. Okay. Not me and you. Son of a bitch, that fucking cock licking fucking your, your boyfriend, that fucking 
What's his name? Gus? Yes, that little fucking prick. He's one twisted fuck. Let's get out of here. What did he do? You're bleeding. No shit. I just got back from the Vietnam. I think I know what real fucking blood is. Come on, we gotta go, man. Come on. No, no, no. Not you. Yeah, whatever he did, I want to see. This is her deal, too. Come on! I can't believe this! There were two coyotes hanging right here, hanging by their necks. You're sure? Of course I'm sure, lady. I just got back from the fucking Korean conflict. I think I know what two hanging coyotes look what like. What is wrong with your friend? Seriously, man. It was these, these two hanging coyotes, and they had these signs around their necks. And one of them said boyfriend, and the other one said girlfriend. So they must have known each other? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you too! Look, Gus can be a first-class asshole, but he would not do anything like that. Really? Because I'm kind of thinking that Gus had never got his ass kicked like we did earlier today. Nah. We just, uh... Gave him a little scare and told him to stay away from me. Actually, we kicked his ass. Look, he can't be far, and I'm gonna find him. Ah, there's the old fuck horse. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Brian's friend thinks Gus killed and hung two coyotes. Gus? Are you kidding? He's hardly hung himself. Okay, I laugh. I'm and when I do, you'll see what's real in the world. All right, all right. Okay, hold on. I think you should leave that here. No, no, they're laughing at me. Which means they're laughing at you. Which means he's laughing at you, too. And that's unacceptable. Look, you asked me here to watch your back. We'll consider your back. Watch, Lieutenant. Guy. He's not gonna do anything stupid. And the suck, it was like a fucking god. The suck being what? It's the desert. We're not in the suck. We're in a tourist town in the middle of nowhere with a half-empty diner and a candle shop. Great, I know that. All I'm saying is that he's completely a stand-up guy. He was one of the best snipers in our unit, and, and besides, I think he's right. That Gus is doing something? How do you know? Well, I don't know, but who else could be doing this, you know? Besides somebody that wants Jeanette's job at the diner. Ouch. You're a dick. I'm sorry. This just doesn't make sense. Well, don't be sorry, all right? I mean, this is, this is why we're here. This is why you wrote me. I want to get this job done. Actually, it was Jeanette who really encouraged me to write to you. But I'm glad she did. This is just going to take a little more work than we originally thought. That's all. I'm glad you did, too. Mm, me too. Just call me match.com. Oh, you guys, get a room. Bitch. Come on. 
Oh, Sam, it looks like you and me need to have another little talk. Come on, cowboy up! Don't you think the sniper rifle with a scope is a bit of an overkill? Uh, the, the rifle? No, no. The, the rifle, that's just, uh, that's for show. It doesn't even have any ammo. Yeah, right. Lenny! Shot. What happened to your face? That's what these guys did to me. And there'll be plenty more of that unless you explain to me what we're doing here. I was up here looking for Nicole! Did you like hanging animals? What? what? You know in the Baghdad Zoo they used to eat everything. Well, I don't know. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, so you don't eat them. You just shoot them and kill them and hang them and watch them die, huh? What? No! Sitting I don't... in that tree right there, huh, you twisted fuck? I don't know what you're talking about! Two coyotes eyes guys don't know. No! It doesn't ring a bell! I don't know! All right, let me, let me, let me. Look, Gus, bottom line, we get your message. Okay. But as fucked up as it is, we get it. All right? But I did Shut up. This is my message, and this is the way it's going to go down. You are not going to see Nicole again. You are going to pack up your shit, and you're going to leave. But and that's going to be the end of it. But what? It's my place! You see anyone here who gives a shit? rifle away. He has his orders. That's a very good idea. Oh, I can't say this has been fun. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? You think it's been fun for Nicole the way you treat her like shit? Jeanette! You don't know anything about us, bitch! Oh, fuck you, asshole! But you did this, this to yourself! Fight. Everything to do with this! You are testing my gun. Sir. Oh, you're in trouble now, son. Yeah. You that, that crazy fucker planted that on. This isn't like us at all. Are you sure? Shut the fuck up. We're nasty, aren't we? All right, Mom, call the police. We don't have any cell phone service out here, remember? All right. Well, we're driving into town, then. I'm gonna go get Lenny. Mom! 
Lenny, open up. Open up, Lenny. Fall the way, goddammit. The man is one sick buck, sir. Jesus Christ, Lenny. I've detained the insurgent awaiting response. I'm doing this for you, sir. Okay. Okay, look. Just don't do anything else for me until I get back with the police. Sir, I I'm serious about this, Lenny. Sir, I really think... Listen to me. I need you to remember why you're here. And not floating down the Tigris with a fucking RPG sticking out of your chest. You understand me? Yeah. Your old man really came through for Ryan, what is going on? What do you mean? I don't want Gus getting hurt anymore. I thought he was the reason you asked me up here. I didn't ask you to cripple him. Okay, well, I, I just see a problem that's a lot bigger than any of us originally thought. Based on what? On what that lunatic Lenny says? Now, come on. I, I come up here to help you out with a bad relationship, and now it's Lenny's fault? No. I no, it's just that things are really screwed up now, and, and none of this was happening before you guys got here. It's starting to scare me. Look, I know, and it's gonna be okay, all right? We're gonna go to the police. It's gonna be okay. All right, believe me, the last thing that I want is another hot zone where I don't know who or what I'm fighting against. This car is two weeks old. It doesn't look new. Yes, well it is. It's brand new. It's just just put in a 1971 shell. Ooh, it must be expensive. Yeah, well it ain't a Kia. <laughs> I drive a Kia. Christ, I gotta go get Lenny. Tell me what you need me to do. What's the deal? Where'd you find that? It's on the engine block, sir. out here the whole time by the car, right? Yeah. And you didn't see anything? Anybody? No, nothing, nobody. Lenny. Ryan, do something! Cut the goddamn shit! You're not in Iraq anymore! You understand me? And you better remember who greased that fucking wheel and got you home! Do you understand me? I'm sorry, sir! I was out of line, sir! Just know that I got your back, sir. Oh, fucking right, then. Okay? Now go in there, untie him, and let him sit up like a fucking human being. Yes, sir. We got a problem. What the fuck are you talking about? Gus is gone. Where's your rifle?
Perfect. Are you sure you know where you're going? Yeah, it's a towny shortcut. Even campus security doesn't know about me. Gus is a townie. This is insane. I know, but he hasn't been here. Yes, I agree. The situation and your goddamn boyfriend, Gus, is totally out of control. Psst. <laughs> All right. Ass is down licking rocks. to take a townie shortcut, despite the presence of two townies. Yeah, I also get the feeling he's not trying to kill us, otherwise we'd be dead. He's a pretty good shot. Yes, he's calling the shots. Not for long, Lieutenant. What now? We gotta go back. What? Are you fucking nuts? Look, that's what the guy with the gun wants. That's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm taking point. Gus, my God, what are you doing? Were you shooting at us? Right, asshole, you called us here. What the fuck do you want? Everybody listen! Listen and listen good. Everybody is gonna be okay. Brian has to play the game. What game? Hey man, what are you a fucking moron? What do you think we've been doing out here? Gus, what are you talking about? People are gonna start dying. Just take out the game! Take out the game now! I don't get it. Jesus Christ! It's on the game! Take out the game now! Okay. Gus, stop this. Please, I will come home. Stop! Jesus! You wanna get us all killed? I'm serious, baby. We will all die. I don't understand. What is making you do this? Nothing! Nothing is making me do this. Okay, Gus. What do you need me to do? That's it. That's the game. That's what you have to play. You have to play it now. Say that you're going to play it. Say it! Just say it! Okay. I'm going to play the game. Okay? And then you're going to let us go. <laughs> I'm not holding anybody. <laughs> okay. But you have to let us go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, name the murdered boyfriend. I don't know what that means. Joel! Don't. Don't fuck with this. This is my life. Is the murdered boyfriend me? No! Is it you? Oh, you guys, I can't take this. I, I can't do this. Then stop it, please. I can't. What are you crazy? I can't. I just want to do something to, to help. And I, How is this helping? I never meant to hurt you, Nicole. I'm so sorry for everything. That I did, but why? why? Why did you have to bring these guys up? <laughs> Think about when you were here last. Think about your roommate. Think about what you know. Nicole, 
Nicole, we gotta go. I can't find him either. You can't find money. You can't find your best friend. You can't find the guy who's got your fucking back. I know this is terrible and we're all freaked out, but right now we need to get the fuck out of here. We're not just going to leave him hanging there. What would you like me to do? Catch up to her. You wait here. No shit! Stay away from me! I'm trying to protect you. Well, you're not doing such a good job so far. Just, just tell me Lenny isn't the one doing this. Tell me he's not involved because it sure as hell looks like Nicole, he is. Nicole, there's no way it's him. You've got to trust me. You know him that well. There's absolutely no way it's him. You have to trust me. Fuck you. Your friend? He's dead. Sitting there like bitches. Get back to work and work hard. Fuck you! safer under here. From who? I honestly don't know. What happened to your roommate when you were in school here? What was his name again? Derek. I know that it's me they're after, okay? I know that. Derek, I mean, it's, it's five letters. It fits the hangman game. Doesn't it? How did he die again? It was autoerotic asphyxiation. But it was ruled an accident. It was an accident. Yeah. You said. So you just took off. Joined the service. Everything you said. But 9-11 and duty to your country and, and honor. It was all just bullshit, wasn't it? Congratulations, you could be president someday. The Honorable Senator Ryan Sr. must be very proud, you know, that you're following in his foot- Alright, that's enough. That's enough. But it's true, isn't it? We need to talk about this later. We can't do this now. Who is doing this? You must have some idea. 
We both know that there are some messed up kids at school here, but that doesn't make any sense. Think you're not doing anything! I am. I am. But the only reason that I'm here is you. You. Somebody used you to get to me. Where's Jeanette? This is where I left her. play the game. I'm not gonna have to. It's getting dark. We're gonna get out of here. It's okay. It's Jonah, is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Do you always have to sneak up on people like that? Naturally quiet, I guess. What time is it? Did something go wrong? Yes. Was it my fault? Yes. Is Chandler okay? Yeah, he's good. I, th I think everything's good. Okay, well, let's get the fuck out of here. Do you think we can uh, still make up tonight? <laughs> if you're a good boy. What are you doing? Nothing. If it's such a big deal, I'll give you my panties. I should have realized what she was doing. Keep my voice down. What do you mean? Jeanette. I never had any problems with Gus until I met Jeanette. She said he was coming on to her. He denied it, but she had these pictures of, of them together that she said someone took through the bedroom window. And money. She was always complaining that she didn't have any money. She even blamed her kid for it. Right to his face. The father was supposedly murdered. How old is her son? Just turned five. Derek was seeing a girl in town. He wouldn't tell us who she was. But he said that they were going to get married and have kids. The clue was murdered boyfriend. Derek's death was an accident, right? Right? Right, but, I mean, she, she, you know, might not know that, and, and she has to have somebody working with her. I wish we were out of here. Ryan, what is 
that, Brian? Chet?
happen exactly as I said. All right. You tell me what you want me to do. Oh yeah, that. Well, we have to hang on. We? I'm not gonna let you do that. It'll be merciful. That's why I built this beautiful thing. You wanna tell me how hanging somebody can be merciful? Well, it'll snap her neck. She'll die almost instantly. She won't feel a thing. Okay, you happy now? Pick up that noose and take her on top of the scaffold. Now! Move it! Take her up to the scaffold. Move it! stupid for that. Don't call me stupid. Shut up. Stop talking. Philip. Where's the hangman? Please. Get down from there now. Now! Guess I'm not that surprised. Philip. You can let us go. All right, I played your game. You have access to more money than you'll ever be able to spend. And what more do you need? How about the truth? Jesus, where the fuck is your mask? Lost it. I lost it. Fucking typical fuck up. We're gonna just leave me hanging there all night? More complications, okay? You guys are beautiful. You cunt. <laughs> oh, now that hurts. Give me the gun, and let's get this over with. Go! Now's your chance to do the saving, right, Brian? Now tell me your real password. Or Nicole Hanks. Oh yeah, you didn't know? The old boyfriend lied again. I mean, isn't that what he always does, Nicole? I mean, he doesn't care if you hang or not. It always comes down to two things. Sex and money. And money is pretty fucking sweet. Right? 
Nicole, do you think we'd be alive right now if I'd given them what they wanted? Oh, and I'm sure saving your family fortune had nothing to do with it. I do not negotiate with terrorists. Oh, get your mind out of Baghdad and into Idlewild. Because there is marginally less greed here. Now, let's see what you do with your last chance. Who are you going to save? The pussy or the portfolio? The portfolio or the pussy? On the count of five, hang her, Philip. Move him. One. Two. Three. Four. Ryan, goddamn it, tell them to help me! Told me. I know. You just killed her. I warned you, Jonette. I told you he wouldn't play the game. He didn't care about his roommate, Derek. I knew he wouldn't care about his girlfriend. He doesn't care about anybody. You covered up what happened to your friend, Derek. I know that. You don't know shit. I know because I killed him! What? Philip. I did it for you, Joan Hatton. You killed him? What? I did a piece of shit. In my whole life. My whole entire life, ever since I first saw you. Marry me. He's gonna get me the fuck off this hill and I was gonna be rich. No, Jonah, no. Yeah, dummy! The only thing you've ever been right about is that he's not gonna send us the information we want. He may not care about anybody else, but he does care about himself. I need this for identification purposes. Uh, Alright, now you put that in the freezer. Wash it off. Use one of the good zip locks, okay? Okay. New game! Password! And I'm Bill Cullen. Now you tell Jeanette her real password, or I take off every one of your fingers. Even the one you pick your nose with. <laughs> Never know if you might need a live scan, right, baby? Huh? No? Ready? One! Oh, Go, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, boy, that's one. That gotta hurt. Oh, okay. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Here you go, sweetie. Here we go. How I felt when he said we were going to leave. I need you. I need you like I need to breathe. 
You know what? I really didn't want to have to do this. You're fucking insane. You tell Jonette your real passport, or she is dead. That's right. I know she's wearing a harness. Paris. Paris. That's where Derek was going to marry me. I never got to meet his daddy. Chandler, I'm sorry. I love you, Joe. I'll uh, I'll finish up here. And make sure none of this ever follows you. Perhaps Madam has forgotten her password. You can reset it here or online. I can't believe this shit. He did it again. May I suggest online then? Look, Miss, I'm sorry, but. What? Yes, this is all ever. May I please have security?
Cancel that. So, you remembered. You bet your ass I did. Right now, I'd kill first. I got it. 